What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited for the video. Why? Because we're doing something crazy. I am trying out 12 new eyelash styles from who? You guessed it. Shop Miss A. Mm -hmm. So they just released these. These are 12 new natural styles. This is actually the charity edition. So anytime that you see a product that is pink like this, it is most likely going to help animals, the Paw Paw edition. These are 155, so the 55 cents goes to help beautiful animals in the world. Okay, so we are going to dive straight in. Another thing, if you've been on the Shop Miss A website, you probably seen this go already, okay? So I'm super excited to tell you that we are working together with Shop Miss A. I am actually a brand ambassador. If you've been on my channel for a long time, you know that I've been shopping Shop Miss A for like years now. They are the best dollar store makeup accessories. I'm just gonna be sharing all of these great things with you. But today's video, are you ready? Let's dive in. All right guys, so what I did, I basically sectioned off into three sections. So the most dramatic, the medium, and then the more natural one. So let's go ahead and start with Linda. Linda is a beautiful, I wanna say wispy lash. It's soft, it's delicate. I have plenty of definition and fluff. And that's what I like about most of the collection. It's very fluffy, very lash extension feel. And I'm gonna say that this one to me feels like a 12 mm lash so it's not quite dramatic all the way it's not going to come up to your eye eyebrow but it is going to still be noticeable so probably maybe like a 12 13 mm if you're into the mm measurement so these are definitely one of my favorites i did use this for a past look what can i say like i just i loved all, all of them so let's go ahead and move on to the next lash next up is the sadie lash now these didn't look dramatic to me initially. None of them did, to be honest, until I actually put them on and I styled them. But these I felt like were very wispy as well. They're a short kind of like a tapered middle inside of the eye, the inner corner, and they're a little bit fluffier at the end, not quite as cat eye and long on the edges, but they will give you that nice natural lift. So these were another one of my favorites. All right guys, so Claire, I really enjoy this style. This to me is like the perfect lash extension, fluff, a little bit of that tapered, wispy, kind of spiky feel, but it's still delicate. A lot of these lashes still keep that natural delicate feel and I feel like a lot of these do fall into the natural category even though they're a little bit longer or can be dramatic. Um, they're on the more natural dramatic side, if that makes sense. These are one of my favorites. So Claire, definitely get this, get all of these, but get this one in particular. So let's go ahead and move on to our next lash. All right, so let's talk Rachel. Rachel is a very special lash. Apparently when you look at the boxes, do not be fooled by what you see in the box. I wanna say that I changed my mind about these once I actually applied them and put them on, style them, curl them. I actually like them a little bit more than what I did when I just saw them in the box. Rachel is one of those that I was just like, mm, you know, it's super tiny. It's not gonna do anything for me. If you do not know what I do in this channel, check out my beauty videos. I am all about that lash, that like drama, that like, give it to me. Can you see it from there? from 10 miles away. Not quite like all to your eyebrows, but I do like a dramatic lash, let's just be honest. So Rachel is that beautiful lift, even though in the packaging, it looks like a very short lash. I wanna say looking at it, it goes from probably like 10 mm's in the inner corner, very short, and then it flares out to about maybe like 11, 12 mm's. So it's not like a super long lash, but it does give you that beautiful kind of like foxy eye, cat eye effect. And I enjoyed this style. So let's go ahead and move on to our next one. Okay, so Kennedy. Kennedy is is what it is, man. When you hear Kennedy, it's gonna be that presence, that royalty, that like, did you see me? I like this lash because it offers a little bit of a playful feel. What I mean with playful is that you have your wispies, 
but you also have in between those wispies a shorter dial. So it's kind of like a short, long, short, long kind of feel. And it does have that inner corner tapered roundness. So it's not quite cat eye exactly to say, but it is a little bit more round without being too round. So I really enjoyed this lash as well. All right, let's talk about Haley. So Haley is a short and sweet gal. This one is pretty much your cat eye effect. It is very short in the inner corner and it elongates on the outer corner. Um, I'm going to say again, it's about 10 to 12 mm's ranging. So you'll have a very short inner corner and you'll have more of the drama towards the outskirts of the eye. If you love using a cat eye wing or a more like elongated wing. These types of styles really help elongate the eye, also lift the eye if you place it properly. So this one is a short and sweet and I like Haley. Okay, so Sarah. Sarah is, I want to say, the only lash out of this collection that is very spiky and separated. There is a little bit of a gap in between each lash strand, the longer ones. You do have a little bit of emptiness, but not quite separation. So don't get freaked out by the style that you're gonna have huge gaps. But what I mean is you can definitely see that it is a spikier style. It is a short to long. So we still have that tapered style, but it is on the spikier side. So I feel like this one is more of a playful lash, but I really enjoy the style in general. Number eight in my list. Okay, so I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. At this point in my life, while I was applying these lashes, by number eight, I was just like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know. There's 12 styles. I had never done a sit down where I model lashes back to back, but let me tell you, we got through. This one in particular, this style of fluffy extension, long, just everything. I want it. This is me. If I could pick a lash, this is it. For me, this style, it's so delicate. Any look that you feel would be aggressive, grungy, just like, oh my gosh, this is too much on the eye. Pop one of these on and pff, you turn into Cinderella, okay? This is just so delicate and fluffy and beautiful that no matter what eye shape you have, this would be something that I would put on a client that I would recommend that you have in your eyelash collection. And what can I say? I'm just, I love it. Next. All right, guys, so if Charlotte had a sister or sisters, they would be these upcoming lashes. So the first sister would be Anastasia. This one is a shorter lash, but it's still within that fluffy, delicate family. It does have a really nice taper to it. So it is not super short at the beginning of the inner corner, like a medium length, and then it elongates. The lash is fluffy. Like I said, it's romantic. It's just beautiful and this is one of my favorites. The last sister to this delicate fluffy family would be Nicoletta or Nicoletta. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyways, this one is probably one of the less dramatic ones of the fluffy family. This one is just beautiful. It has that fluff. It has the wispy feel. It's very flirty and romantic. This one is just a beautiful lash. What can I say? This one is probably going to be more on your daily routine lash. Again, more of the lash extension feel and it's just beautiful. All right guys, so the last two lashes are to me the shortest ones. These are more of a chunky lash. It is shorter on, I wanna say the 10 to 11 mm. Very, very natural. So the first one on the supernatural family is Emily. So like I said, it is a chunkier lash. It has more of a rounded shape. It's still fluffy, but not as delicate. So I'm gonna to go with the more round chunky. This is pretty much a really full natural lash line. So this one I enjoy probably for every day, something that I don't want too long of a lash and I just want to pop it on and have that like, did you see my lashes? Because I got amazing lashes. So we have arrived to the end of this lash journey and I ended my journey with the most natural lash that I could find in the collection because I wanted to know how natural was natural and you're looking at it. 
So this is the style Luna. This is sister to Emily. To me, it's more of a full lash line, everyday type of lash. But as you can see, I have a pretty nice face of makeup right now. I'm more of the glam side. And I still feel that with this natural lash, you can still appreciate the makeup. It doesn't look like I'm wearing no lashes. It just looks like I have a nice natural full lash line. So if you are on the daily routine, you don't want too much, but you want to spice it up. I want to say that Luna is going to be your go-to daily lash. All right, guys. So to wrap it all up, do you need these lashes? Yes, you need all of them. You need to try them. Why? Because they're only a dollar, a dollar fifty-five, and you want to contribute and help the beautiful family of animals in our world, okay? That's why. But I really enjoyed all of these lashes. Like I said, I gravitate more towards a drama lash. Their other collection, I absolutely love, but I really enjoy these lashes as well. So a lot of the natural everyday, you want a little bit of drama, you want to be delicate, or maybe you don't want to commit to a lash extension, but you still want a full lash line. These are very delicate. They don't have a huge chunky lash band. They are nice enough to hide. So like right now I'm wearing just a liner. I popped some light bronzer, a little bit of brown eyeshadow, and I feel like you can't really like see, okay, there's the fa fake lash, you know? So I feel like they're really nice to handle. They are going to last you a lot of uses, guys. If you properly disinfect and clean the lash, the lash band is nice enough to really give you that really long life. And guys, these are a dollar, again. They're worth every, every try, everything. Don't doubt it, go check it out right now okay i recommend them thank you so much for watching this video i am going to start a shop miss a series on this channel so if you would like for me to review a particular category because i got a couple in mind go ahead and comment below but i am super excited to continue to try on things with you and to share my beauty fashion accessory finds in this particular amazing store shop miss a so make sure to like subscribe because why not you're already here make sure to check out my social media platforms all at mua carla trevino where i share with you my fashion beauty and lifestyle tips and tricks on the daily so that you can enjoy what i'm loving what i'm hating how i'm living thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time